Okay, why don't you tell us your name? And Frank. And what is your major? Anthropology. Okay, so uh, in preparation for the What's Your Major show on September 24th, I'm going to ask you five questions in the in your major of anthropology. You ready? That's good. Well, I crammed, so yeah. Okay, good. It's up all night with some, uh, <laughs> some no-dos. Okay. Number one, what animal did Jane Goodall primarily study? Oh, shit. This is good. You know... This is, this, okay, monkeys and apes are different, right? I'm going to say apes. It's actually chimps. 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 So I think chimps are apes. Are they? I think they are uh, a kind of ape. But you're the, you're the cultural anthropology yeah. person. Yeah. Number I'm two. I'm sticking with it. Apes. <laughs> In which world location could you find these famous archaeological sites? Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Torre Anunziata. Um... Uh, Italy. That's correct. Very good. Number three, what is generally accepted as the purpose of Stonehenge? Um, By I, anthropologists. I believe it was to mark the, uh, the changing uh, of the seasons, the solstices and... Uh, the thing that's not the solstice, that's, that's three, three months before and afterwards. A, temp a temple to the sun oh. is what it was generally accepted that it was. Mm. Okay. That's kind of close. <laughs> You're close. See, I don't even know whether to give you credit or not. Number four. What is the name of a scientist who studies the human skeleton? Equinox, that's the thing. That's not the solstice. What? What? <laughs> we're, on, we're moving on. Oh. <laughs> what is the name for a scientist who studies the human skeleton? Um, the human skeleton. As an anthropology and yeah. skeleton expert. Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. Well, thank um, you. It's not a paleontologist. It's a... Um, can we go back to that one? No. No. <laughs> Uh, okay, paleontologist. Osteologist. Osteologist. Okay. Um, and number five, the final one, to redeem yourself, Ad Frank. What kind of method is used to determine the age of volcanic rock and minerals? Oh, um, carbon dating. Close. It's radiopotassium dating. How is that close? You said door dating. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> because... I can say that. So how you do you ask me questions about dating? I know a lot about that. <laughs> how do you feel you did? I think I got a uh, D minus. Okay, but uh, you can. Uh, what do you have? Anything special planned for the twenty fourth? Uh, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a song with uh, Sophia Cacciola. Very good. That's the first time I said her name out loud. Is that tough? Was I close? Yeah, I think you actually got that one right. Extra credit. Yeah, extra credit for that. All right. Thank you, Ed.